Wow, that's just awkward. How does it make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys, I am Matthias, and welcome to 10 Strange Tech Items that Tanner pick yeah! picked out for me. I'm gonna let you guys know whether these items are tasteful or wasteful, whether they're good or bad. Whether I like them or whether I don't like them, okay? This is all about my opinion, not yours. Stop saying I should have your opinion. I got my own opinion, let me be myself. Let's begin. Moment Air Selfie Drone. Oh, snap your moment anytime, anywhere. I feel like I'm having a bit of a moment right now. What on earth could I do to snap that moment? Oh yeah, that's right. This. It's a phone. <laughs> it's a phone. <laughs> this is a redhead trying to take a picture of himself? <laughs> Everybody knows you can't see redheads in a picture. <laughs> uh, your personal photographer in the air. Full protection, 100% safety, multicolored body shell. That's a fantastic trait. Multicolored body shell? <laughs> Dude, my last selfie drone, you guys remember, video right there. I tried a selfie drone, and that selfie drone was not multicolored on the body shell. It was just black. And I was like, that's obviously a bad feature. Yeah, how's it gonna do its job if, if it's, it's not multicolored? Yeah, if it's not multicolored. Vision follow me function. Okay, it's 100% intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> looks okay. Looks about the size of a mug. Super safe. Super sustained. Super intelligent. Let's stop with the super intelligent. No. This ain't gonna pass an IQ test. Oh, stop. <laughs> no. Come on. There's no way that happens. I love it when all of these products <laughs> are just like, use this product to propose. I feel like that's <laughs> such a common thing that I see is that like everyone's always like trying to like, oh, this product is so good you, you, you can propose with it. You know this is a product marketed towards men because there's no woman that I can think of that I know that would be like proposed to me on a drone. I would love that. If you're out there, ladies, you're few and far between. I would say you're a catch. Just tell your man propose to me on a drone and he'll propose quicker than you know it. Buy it now. All right, dude. You notice how similar this is to the previous one. Oh yeah, very similar. So similar. Even the packaging, down to the packaging, it's so similar. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good pun. Includes a case for the drone, which is pretty cool. Oh. It's like this kind of like gold color, bronze almost. It is big though. It's much bigger than the other one. You can see right there, there's a sonic sensor so it can detect its elevation. All right, let's try this, dude. Okay, so right here, I'm having massive trouble even just putting this SD card in there. I tried to take the battery out so this device would maybe power cycle and I'd get it connected, but now the SD card is just toying with me, bro. I'm sticking it all the way in there. That's what she said. I had to use a tiny little tool to get that SD card in there. And we connect. Restarted the app, everything. <sighs> this naturally is handled much better on Android. That's an issue with the iOS system. But now if I connect, you should connect. There we go, we're finally connected. I'm not sure if that's an issue with the app or an issue with the drone, but it's all around not a great experience. You should have Bluetooth force it to connect with Wi-Fi, but what are you gonna do? I assume this is taking off. Prompt, if the drone is take off automatically, my music confirm. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, calm down, calm down, time out. It just timed out, now I can't control it anymore. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, now it's connecting back again. Okay, follow me. Hey, 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 relax, bro. What the heck, dude? Every time I tried to get it to follow me, it was just like, oh, too hard. Timed out. You can't make me follow you. I'll never follow you. I'll never join you. So yeah, uh, visual follow, not great. <laughs> as far as controlling the drone, if it just disconnects that quick, not great. I'm bummed, 100% bummed. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say, Wasteful. Andor XCAM Site 2. Creative Site 2. Axis handheld stabilizer for smartphone less than or equal to 5.5. Just say it's a gimbal. <laughs> Title's so convoluted, so complicated. I feel like people try to tag spam, but I think it ultimately really hurts these companies. Multi-perspective intelligent, here we go. More intelligent products. Intelligent stable system ensures smooth and steady capture of images and video. So it's a stabilizer for your phone. You know what a gimbal is? You know, yeah. like with a GoPro or a camera, we use them sometimes at the studio to stabilize the camera. This one is a, it's a two axis. So it stabilizes on two different axes. Axie. Axie. So with its optimized structure, XCAM Site 2 adapts to all smartphones. Oh, great. You can capture all of your child abuse. 
most awkward family portrait I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> All right, well, let's try this out, dude. Add to cart. <laughs> All right, here we go. Not bad packaging. Xcam Creative Sight. Open this puppy up, and we get to see the object of our innermost desires. Ooh, that's good. I like doing that. That's fun. Okay, so it stabilizes <laughs> stabilizes on this and on this. Boom. Wham a damn a jing jong. I've added it to my phone. Oh, what? That's interesting. It can only go that way or that way. So I feel like I'm at a bit of a problem here. I gotta go like this way. This is how I'm supposed to film. So it stabilizes on this axis and on this axis. It doesn't stabilize on this axis. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> that was all wrong for me. All right, here we go. Up, down. That's all we need. There's an up, down button right here. So power. Oh yeah, it's already stabilized. No, that was actually really nice. So wait, up, down. Oh yeah, look at that. You see that? Oh. That is not bad at all. You see that? Wow. I'm going to shoot a little video of the Tan Man. This is an audition for your part in Star Wars. Okay. In Star Wars? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Star Wars is active, so you got you got to be active. Get I'll follow yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Ready? What role am I auditioning for? Uh, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's watch that back. So what I'm noticing here is that it is, while it is stabilizing, the fact that it's on uh, two axis, two axis, it makes it a little bit difficult. And this joystick right here, you get caught. When he was going up and down, it was really awkward for me to like, I was trying to go up, but then the camera was still pointing down. So I had to use the, the joystick to actually make it go up, but it overshot it a lot. So that's the only thing that was awkward about it. But if you're just like shooting your friends or shooting your family and stuff like that, they're not gonna move around as much as Chewbacca. I really didn't taste Dude. Hey, also, tasteful. I'm gonna release that video on Twitter of Tanner because I don't like you very much. I can <laughs> <laughs> so do whatever you want with that video. You know, save it to your private collection, watch it later. I don't care. Automatic toothpaste dispenser, toothbrush holder, oh I should ye toothbrush sterilizer. So this has some real life practical uses. But wait, toothpaste dispenser. Now I'm curious. How's it gonna gook out the toothpaste? $25? That seems unreasonably expensive. I mean, this has got to work really well. Well, it feels like it's so much money. It you were feels... gifted with two for free. I don't understand. What? What do you mean? You have two hands. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How have you been doing it before? I don't understand. I know. I've just been looking at it using the force, dude. Let's try it out. Add to cart. Oh, thank you for all the toothpaste and the ultra bright. <laughs> wow, it's big. Oh, I see. Disinfecting. All right. So you go in here. You just link up your toothbrush like this. Boom. Tooth. Bry are being cleaned. And I assume I just literally forced this in there. There we go. Oh yeah, it is coming out. So you can see it's somehow ejecting toothpaste. Oh. oh! So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to just push this in here like this. Oh, that would make a mess, but it did work. So if I'm holding it up like this, and I just got it a couple times right there, no, it doesn't seem to make too big of a mess. Kids would make a giant disaster in there and then you wouldn't want to stick your own toothbrush in there. I don't think this has got much practical use. Just put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. Like, why you gotta get all technical with it? Uh, I say wasteful. My perfect goatee. Oh. Men's goatee shaving template by Goatee Saver. <laughs> It looks so awkward. What is it, clipped to your nose or something? Oh, you bite it. Yeah, what? Why does that person grow hair on his face like a carpet? Is that what it is? Like, look, I don't grow hair right there. It looks Photoshop. It looks so fake. Like, what about those dudes in there? It seems like they're the same person. Look at that smile. It's like the exact same goatee. But I mean, that's, I guess, what the perfect goatee is. Why are they all middle-aged men? Why do middle-aged men have goatees? Here's the thing, Tanner. Do you want a goatee right now? Because I don't want a goatee. I don't either. Add to cart. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. My perfect goatee. Food grade soft grip mouthpiece. Cuts goatee grooming time. Customize your goatee shape. Okay, so I think these knobs allow you to like actually customize the shape of it. Looks like it's made high quality. This right here expands so you can shape your goatee. You see that expanding right there? Mm -hmm. So if you got like a wide mouth, you got a narrow mouth. So then you pull this thing out, you bite it. There you go. And then you say it all around it. Oh, that tastes not good. Yeah, it would potentially make a good goatee. Why do you want a goatee? That's yeah. a bigger question. That's Why a did question. you have a goatee? Because that's the only place I could grow facial hair. Mm. You know? 
consistently? Uh, for what it does, I'm gonna give it a tasteful. If you're under 40, either don't grow facial hair or do a different facial hair style. Sorry, Dad. Nanda, Zus, Super Duty, USB A to micro USB. Okay, blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying, dude? Dude, I heard every <laughs> single word you said, right? Now. So I think what this is, like some type of indestructible cable protected with. Aramid fiber, Thank 10 good. times longer lifespan, enhanced by military grade Aramid fiber and braided nylon, designed in Germany. Oh, those Germans mm -hmm. making indestructible stuff again. Like, if we can make indestructible weapons, we'll make indestructible cables! They will seize the power of our cables! <laughs> <laughs> Germans out there are like, what? They're like, that's not us. We <laughs> just make the chocolate, harmless chocolate. <laughs> that's poison. <laughs> then it's indestructible chocolate! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can say that. I'm German. Pet! Proof. Does that happen? Do pets do that? I'm sure pets do that. I'm sure that's a, a viable thing. Oh yeah, I've had so many cables shown up. By Gunner or? Yeah, my pet Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> Quality guaranteed for life. I get you, I get you, I get you. Add me cart. USB. We're gonna find out if this is actually indestructible. The Super Duty USB A to USB Lightning. Oh, it's a Lightning cable. I get you. Good packaging. Braided. I like braided cables though. I really do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a nice cable. It comes with this little cable tie. Dude, it's nice. I like it. The only issue about this is that it is a cable, and I hate cables. But if you're gonna use a cable, this is not a bad cable. Here, pull this end. Okay. You're strong, dude. Dude, thank you. I was only begging for dear life. Ready? You are one strong Viking boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good, dude. This is pretty strong. All right, I, I grade this an A, which is also tasteful. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, don't do that. I, this wasn't plugged in also, in my defense, <laughs> oh my when God. I did that. <laughs> don't chew on cables. Also, when your pets or children are chewing on cables, say no. Before the next product, shout out to Alfonso de Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Alfonso was a part of that notification squad, says you were the funniest part of my day. Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> You want a shout out, huh? Subscribe, click that bell icon, comment within the first 30 minutes. Cause that's when we pick you. And not your nose. What is this? It looks obscene. Why does it look wrong? Doesn't it? Just a little bit? Is it like a pop? It's a mushroom Bluetooth speaker. Looks a little bit weird. Doesn't look like a mushroom. It looks like a, if a mushroom like was inflated. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Add the cart. Wow. I fell down the stairs. You fell down the stairs? Holding it, so. It's... Holding it? You ever get like your packages delivered like this? Yeah. <laughs> the most awkward thing is when like the delivery guy to like literally hand delivers it to you and you're like, what happened? And he was like, oh, like, you know, I got real upset, you know, kind of Kylo ren it, you know? <laughs> he just goes in the back of the <laughs> just UBS. Goes, <laughs> just like, <laughs> and just like, why, why, why? It's okay, as long as the product's not damaged. Wow, that's just awkward. How does it make you feel? <laughs> Dude, imagine bumping music's off of that. Can you imagine? Dude. Let's not even imagine. Oh, that's gonna give me a- that's gonna give me a hickey, dude. Yeah. No, dude, I can't do that. Yeah, oh, I mean, my that's word. Me too. It kind of almost did. Let's oh. connect this puppy. There we go. Wow, that does not seem like it would be okay. waterproof. Yeah. This was sent to us by CN Direct. Oh, this was sent to us by CN Direct. Yes. Oh, gotcha. Disclaimer. I didn't know that before I did all the dissing. I didn't know that before <laughs> I fell down the stairs with it, so. <laughs> all right, let's get it connected up and see if it's quality sound. How much is it, 12 bucks? Okay, so I expect a little from it though. Here's the thing, we've been messing around with this for quite some time. Literally can't figure out how to get it powered on, how to get it connected or anything. So I'm gonna have to say wasteful. I like the suction cup idea. I think they, it needs to be a little bit more expensive to actually have some utilitarian use. Charged it, everything, like doesn't seem to work. Next product. Ah, now this product, I know for a fact, was sent to us. Look at that, it's so pretty. For those of you that don't know what this is, it's a 3D printer. That's right, you see all these things beside it? That little Pokeball, oh my gosh, a little rocket. This little hand right by the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> this machine made all of those things. Simple design packed with features. Small, lightweight, compact, 
effector. I'm not super adept at knowing much about 3D printers, but Tanner has set this one up. Yes. Advanced circuitry, auto leveling. These all sound great. With a large LED ring, the Delta Go lights up, making it easier to see the details in your prints. Free one year commercial subscription to Autodesk Fusion 360. That's cool. Software is expensive, especially like pro level software like that. Oh, okay. There we have the actual sellability here. 350 bucks, bro. That's a steal. 350 bucks. Even if it doesn't work great, that's a steal. Maybe when I was like 14 or something like that, I would have killed to have something like this. You know, to make my own stuff, to make like physical things in the real world. That was just a dream that people had 3D printing, you know? I had to like get out in the garage and like actually like put metal and wood together and hammer it and saw it all together to make something. I couldn't just like beep boop bop, make it from a computer like this. Hit me with it. Be okay. careful here. Okay, I'm being careful. Look at this thing. Okay, well you're not gonna be able to see it from that angle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up. You hold that up. Okay. This is the printer right here. And you've made a bunch of prints, right? Yes. How many prints? I made two prints, which is a <laughs> bunch of prints. <laughs> I made two prints. Two of them. <laughs> this is really cool, man. Yeah. This looks like it was it's machined well. I personally haven't used this yet, but let's take a look at the prints. So as we've set this product up, there are a couple tiny little quirks with it. Some of the software, sometimes you have to quit it, restart it, and stuff like that. With any 3D printer, I think for the most part. I mean, there are some crazy fancy 3D printers that I'm sure automate the process much beyond this. But for $350, you get what you pay for, right? So let's take a look at what it has created. Okay, so we've made this camera. Okay. And we've also made this little birdie. Oh, okay, okay. So there you go. If you want to see the detail of this, you can see right there, you can see how the filament has been printed in a 3D way. Not bad. You can see minor imperfections and stuff like that, but printers like these, they're designed to do like prototyping or small little toys and stuff like that. It's not necessarily designed to actually print and manufacture large scale items. I say that's tasteful. I say that's tasteful. Breathometer Mint, the smart oral health monitor. Oral health monitor. You gotta have really bad breath to like carry one of these things around. You gotta have like a chronic issue or something like that, which I'm sure people have. There's, I mean, like anything on your body can go wrong, right? All sorts of things can go wrong with humans. Who am I to judge? Let's watch this video. What does that have anything to do with breath? Why she keep looking at herself? Ew, what is that? It looked like food she gave to her dog and then decided <laughs> to eat after. I think it's peanut butter toast. No, that's like a half eaten banana waffle with the banana peel there. I just don't think a human prepared that. <laughs> Amanda like giving me like waffles and stuff like that. She like cuts up the banana on top and then she's like, for the added like cherry on top today, we're doing the peel on top. <laughs> gum disease, oral health, okay. Yeah, see if you got gum disease, I imagine that could have a lot of bad breath. Here's the issue, I just ate cheese. I'm actually not done eating the cheese. I'm not ashamed of it. A hundred dollars, wow. This should say I have bad breath. I just ate a big thing of cheese, right? Who likes cheese breath? I don't know, Chester the Cheeto Man? Isn't he a cheetah? Yeah, the Cheeto Man, he's a cheetah. He's not a man. Darn Cheetos. Darn? Well, you're falling apart here, dude. Dude. Did I say darn? Get yourself together, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Let me go study up on the Cheeto man some more. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've looked at a lot of products. Let me improve this for you right now, company, before I even see it. And if you have this feature, I'll be impressed. But if you don't, here's a way to improve it. It tests your breath, right? If you got bad breath, <laughs> automatically spray some sweet mint in it, in your mouth. Come on. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I'll, you know I'll what I mean? Catch somebody off guard though. <laughs> you just be like, oh, <laughs> dang it, I have bad breath again, dude. But it's like a little treat for having bad breath. Add to cart. <laughs> Hit me. <clears throat> <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> The so. smart way to monitor your oral health. Look at that, they're about to kiss, but he was like, oh wait, have you checked your oral breath today? There's a little on button right there. There we go. So this is gonna grade my breath. And I just breathe into that right there. <gasps> Hi Luna. Come here girly. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, look how cute <laughs> she is. Look how cute she is. Hello darkness, my old friend. All right, Luna, I'm gonna test my breath right now, okay? After I just had a giant cookie and I had some cheese, yes. Uh, let's walk you through the setup. Make sure you have the following. Toothbrush and toothpaste, glass of water, 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't got 10 minutes. She's like, who is this you man? You could go. Yeah, oh, thank you. Uh, she told me that I could continue. She said, she said you could yes. go. <laughs> she did say that. Oh, is you hear that? Sound. I don't know, but it reminds me of the dentist and I hate the dentist. Oh my word, this is really like a... Oh. <laughs> Keep your mouth closed. Put mint on a flat surface while the device prepares to take a test. <laughs> it's not supposed to be in my mouth? You're ready to test. Keep holding your breath. Almost done. Okay, so the actual test only took like a, a second or two. Here are your 
results from this. Wow, after all that, I have good breath. A plus. You know my breath's not that great though. <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm gonna, it, it worked. Even despite being annoyed right now because the process is so slow, a process this complicated and this particular, I appreciate all the effort that they put into making sure that people did it right without going through and reading all the directions. So for those reasons, I'm gonna say tasteful. Anchor powerhouse, compact 400 watt hour, 120,000 milliamp hour portable outlet. Oh, it's a generator alternative. Okay, so it's like a giant battery that you can plug in car stuff to USB stuff, you can power things for like power outages and things like that. Remarkably compact. For maybe how long it lasts it's compact, because that doesn't look compact to me. Looks pretty huge, but maybe you just put it in your car. You save it, yeah. save all that power for a later date. I don't know. Dad's at work here, Luna. <laughs> If you don't mind, she's just yelling in the back, dude. Kids these days, no respect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you. This, I believe, was sent to us, and I'm actually kind of stoked to get this because this thing looks like it could be pretty cool. Dude, wait, it can power a mini fridge for seven hours. No Your way. phone, it can recharge 40 different times. Laptop, 15 recharges. Dude, 100 plus hours for a light, a 15 volt light. I mean, this is a bright light in front of me, and that's uh, nine, nine volts? No, nine watts. Wait, what is a 15 volt light? I think they mean watts. Give it to me, Tanner. Okay. You don't have to say that twice. Oh my word. That is not tiny. Power for any device up to 15 time laptop charging. That's pretty cool. So this item right here could have come in handy when? When? You remember. It just happened to us. How could you not remember this? We oh. went through this thing together, Tanner. Um... When, uh -huh. when, our, when our car battery died on our date a couple weeks ago, or... The fire. Oh, yeah. We just have so many memories, you know, why so many you, moments Why would you bring up the date, dude? <laughs> when Amanda's right, sitting right, in the back. Right, Amanda's sitting right there, dude. <laughs> wow. This is nice, dude. Ooh, that is aluminum. That is not... Terrible start. Dude, did you see that? It, like, glitched out my camera. So much power! This is heavy, sturdy. I like the build. I like that aluminum feel. Yeah. What? Amanda, this isn't a boom box. <laughs> She's like, you about to go into the 90s? Anyone need some power? Oh, okay, look at that. So I could just press whatever I want and then power it. So we did charge this, which we, ch we charged this, right? Yeah. But it is saying zero. So maybe we just got to give it a kickstart, but that would be a little concerning. This was at 100% earlier today. Seems pretty easy to use. All you got to do is initiate what you want to power. You press right there. But that's the only thing that's concerning is why is it dead? It, it's really cold. That's disappointing. All right, so I plugged that puppy in. We're at 2% battery. Plug in my phone here. Oh wait, I got to press this button. Boom. There we go, charged, charging, I should say. So it works. The only issue is that it was fully charged this morning and that's a little disconcerting. I don't know why that is. So I can't give this a tasteful. I love the idea of it, but you confirmed that it was 100%. 100%, can't confirm that it was at 100%. That's 200%. <laughs> keep that in mind. Look at the reviews. But uh, let's just keep this charging in the meantime. Bye, girls. Bye. Everyone say goodbye. Bye. Bye, Bye cuties. What is this? Signs, signs tech. Sound music. Beat activated car stickers. <laughs> you know those people that are riding around in their cars and they have like the bass just thumping. They've taken off their muffler or they've got this aftermarket muffler that just makes them just inignorable. Yeah. Those type of people. Paul. Yes. <laughs> so annoying. Paul, why do you do it? Paul, stop annoying me. This is for you, you know? This is just one more layer of look at me! <laughs> Someone pulls up and they're just like, boom, boom, boom. And the girl's still not looking over. Put this in your window. <laughs> for sure, she'll look over and be like, you're cool. You know, like literally when you're in a car and the car next to you is vibrating so so heavily that your car is vibrating, rethink your life. The car who's doing the vibrating, rethink your life. In other words, Paul, <laughs> add to cart. Okay, so I got the perfect thing to test with this puppy. Boom, all right, you see that? Yeah. All I'm gonna do, plug this guy into that, press this button, there we go. Now I don't gotta worry about plugging it into no car. All right, so I'm just gonna turn on some random music. Maybe it's gonna hear it, it's gonna sense it or something like that. So I don't get copyright claims, I'm gonna play myself. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I I used to make music. Here's one of the songs. Let's play it loud so this thing can hear. It's called Backwards. Link down in the description below. Oh wait, on. Okay. I feel like it should go the other way. Oh yeah, it's totally wrong. 100% wrong. So, while the song is excellent, <laughs> 
this product has some major issues. Major issue being the sound needs to be going up because that's where the levels are. It's going up. Second issue is this isn't near bright enough, right? I mean, we got some bright lights, but I just don't think that's gonna be able to be seen in sunlight. At night, yeah, you'll be able to see that. And you can string up all these all over your car and be the coolest dude around. Catch all the ladies' attention. If that's cool, I don't wanna be cool. I'm gonna throw that out there. That aside, <laughs> I would have to say this is a tasteless, wasteful. This right here is a thumbnail for 10 unusual mall products. Really inter really entertaining, really funny. Check that video out. Right here is 10 prank products, and we pick our best one and decide to prank someone in the office. And this right here is a subscribe button if you're new here, because if you're new here, I'd like to see you more often. If you'd like that, click it. We'll see you next time. High five.